And hello. Hey, hello, motherfuckers out there all around the world. <laughs> so. Oh, good lord. I was expecting all three. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't either. But uh, welcome to the Kicking the Peanut Show where we talk about everything and every anything and everything. Uh, whatever's on our mind, we just, you know, kick our stupid brains around talking about crap we've heard and uh, what's going on in our lives and all that fun stuff. So, do 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 do. I am welcomed and lovely to be uh, having a bunch of people here today. And I'm joined by Mr. Ayo Xander. Who's next? I'm Creek Alley. Well, who's no. also the. What? What was your name? I think she said milk. What? Milk. milk. Yep. Milk. Who else is there? I know there's someone else Father there. Pump. It is oh. Sohan, buddy. Y yeah. Sohan. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of people here today. <laughs> Hi, oh, but yeah, God. welcome to the Ticket yeah. of Peanut. I know, like, look. <laughs> oh, two in a row. Yeah, well, welcome to the Kicking the Peanut show, where we just talk about anything and everything, and uh, what's on our minds today. So, anyways, uh, who wants to kick this off with uh, anything cool and interesting? Hmm? 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 Well, I guess I I'll, I'll, I'll start possible. us off. You prevented a murder today. What? What? Time what about a murder? Explosions? <laughs> I prevented hey, uh... a murder today. Oh, you did? Oh, <laughs> control. How so? Lord, you um, the power of control alt oh. possibly. I don't know. Control just, alt deleted that. Video. Well, anyway, no, like uh, let's let's be organized with this here, people. Like uh, Miss yeah, Alice, yeah. come on, guys. Uh, Miss Alice, uh, what about you? Anything happened, you know, with you in the past week? Anything interesting with you, you know, individually? Anything that you found interesting with current events, the news, socioeconomic, anything? You know, oh, you know, we talked about the banks last week, you know, so yes, we did, and we also briefly talked about the um, the whole thing with the uh, Mrs. like the uh, power plant in Minnesota where they had oh. knowledge of. <laughs> 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 you know, there we go. That, that was good, yeah. actually. Yeah, well, no, I, I do kind of feel good. But no, actually, what I was about to say was uh, the whole uh, nuclear uh, plant. It wasn't a nuclear power plant, but they used nuclear energy. I don't know how that works, but we were talking about this last week briefly about like over 400,000 gallons of nuclear waste being uh, dripped out into the tributaries out in Minnesota. It wasn't waste. It was actually, I think, 200,000 gallons of nuclear contaminated water. So it's not oh, waste. No, four, 400, it was 400,000. Okay. So, yeah, but, but it wasn't waste. Away. It was a nuclear processing facility. So I believe they actually make uh, the fuel rods and such that they use for the power oh, plants. So, so that's what got leaked. But they're And they're saying, but yeah, we were talking about that last week. And... Um, now I've heard, like, actually, what I really wanted to talk to, because, like, we have this bad thing, like, we have East Palestine, but I want to actually talk about something kind of positive here, is the, um, the tributaries and water reservoirs out in California, there are some that have actually, like, quadrupled in size, or, uh, tripled in size, so they <laughs> uh, Yeah. But, no, like, actually, so if you good. look at, like, uh, from, like, a, ten months ago, Back in um, May of 2022, yeah. Thank you guys. You find it funny, but <laughs> what's the deal with May? Yeah. yeah. But uh, May of 2022 to oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yep. 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 I'll bow down. I'll bow down. Yes, yeah, yeah. so we have a really good view of your forehead right there. Well, I know. I got a five head. It looks like with because yeah. my head, my my. Yeah, here we go. But anyways, uh, th there's <laughs> five head. there's. Yes, five head. Yeah, you know, so four head, five that. head. Well, we have right yes. here, like uh, this time lapse video we have uh, from uh, what was it, July last year, until March yeah. of this year. So it shows yeah. you if anybody's watching the stream, you see the dramatic increase in the water levels. That's fucked up. Yeah, the water. No, that's a, that's a good thing. Ugh. It's fucked up if your house was in, in that area. Well, no, well, no, no, not in this. Like because this is already. Oh like, wow! Uh, look, where's that, that entire parking lot got submerged. Look at that. Look, there's entire so, this entire area. In the wise words yeah. of Steely Dan's lyrics, California tumbles into the sea. That's a thing that could probably happen. Well, yeah, oh, it is a thing. Uh, um, but no, like there's about five reservoirs that have reported like mm. a a double of their water levels over the last like from the last like year. 
That's fucked like, up. They have a place named no, after that's not, soda. Dude, too. that's not that's not fucked up. That's wow. good. Because yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, perfect yeah. yeah. No, it's a good thing, but, uh, Creek Alley, because we need water desperately. Like yeah, this, this water, past winter, like, we've been getting so much rain and so much snow up in the yeah. mountains and everything. Like there's there's this one mountain we uh, we talked about this actually last uh, last weekend, uh, the last peanuts. Uh, there's this uh, ski resort in one of the mountains uh, out in Southern California, and it snowed 50 feet. Which is more than twice the mm. the normal amount. It went up and it almost yeah. buried the ski lift. Like we need yeah. that water really, really badly. It's a very good thing. So yeah, this is not a fucked up thing. This is a good thing for California. Yeah. However, there like with there is a downswing with it because with all that water and all that dried up soil, like towards the edges and cliffs, you're getting a lot of landslides and mudslides from it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, so like there's that. Yeah. yeah, but like, no, California is finally getting the much needed water. What I'm wondering about is, like, how is Lake Mead doing, like, from this? Like, it's is not... Lake Mead getting. Lake Mead and I've Lake heard... uh, Powell, or whatever the one is behind it, uh, they're on the other side of the, the rainfall and where all the snow melt is going to go. So, all of this yeah, wetness exactly. that you see that we're talking about, none of that is going to go in that direction. That's a whole other biome itself, and that's not good because that's the majority of not just the water, but the power because of the hydroelectric dam at, you know, Hoover Dam. Uh, yeah, Hoover to Dam's the entire water southwest. because of it. The, to the entire southwest you know nevada las vegas uh uh you know southern california los angeles san diego uh and then we also have um uh you know tucson and such arizona like, like all of those areas yeah. are very reliant on the hoover dam and lake mead behind it and as i said before lake mead is lower than when it first opened in 1935 and yeah like, it's, that is, it's, and especially over the last few years there's been a huge drought out there so I was wondering yeah. because like you guys were getting hit really good out in Cali that if uh, like Arizona got some more rain and it actually helped with Lake Mead, that's what I was wondering. Well, let's uh, let's well. check it out right now actually. Uh, Lake Mead level. Let's see here. Lake Mead water level uh, is at uh, whatever this is. So yeah. so here we go. Uh, so what is the red? So we're down by 2021. We're down by 2022. Okay, so so this is what it shows. Like so so this is this is where it was at this time last year, and then two years ago, this is where it was. So look at the oh, drastic damn. decrease. It's drastically. It hasn't improved much, but California at least has raised it. I'm just hoping that for the sake of Arizona and. Uh, no. no, Alice, the, all this California water, as I've said already, it does not affect the Hoover Dam at all. That's an entire state no. away. Well, I know that. I know that. The Hoover Dam is uh, more like, you know, the Four Corners and stuff. No. Which is, no, yeah, well, yeah, isn't the Hoover Dam part of the Four Corners? No. Oh. Well, not in the Four Corners, but part of the Four Corners states. Oh. No. Absolutely mm. not. The Hoover Dam is between Dam Nevada in... and Arizona, Alice. Well, Arizona is part of the Four Corners. No. No. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, it no, is. I think you're 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 thinking too far south. Yeah, no, Alice, look, see, let me change this to this. Okay. Colorado. Alice, you see, uh, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Phoenix are the Four Corner states. The Hoover Dam is over here between. Uh, uh, Nevada, oh, Nevada and Arizona. Oh. If so I zoom in right so here, that's in Nevada. it's right okay, here. Yeah, it has nothing to do with California. Here it is right here, Nevada and Arizona. California is way over here. So all of okay, the water yeah. and stuff has been going here. It has well, nothing the, to do with this biome whatsoever, yeah. is what I'm saying. That's why I said earlier that all of this comes from a different source. It comes from th this river up here. That goes along in for this some direction. reason, I for, I was thinking that the Hoover Dam was like in Arizona, like California, Nevada area. No, and that's why I was thinking the Four Corner States. That's yeah, that's my own fault for the Four Corner States either, Alice. Well, I know that it's yeah. I I I was thinking Nevada was part of the Four Corners. That was my mistake. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, perfect laugh. Yep. But anyway, like. Uh... Anyway. Let's move on. Hey, who, no. wants, uh, who wants the next turn? Hey, no. 
Okay. Oh, Sohan. Yeah, Sohan, you take it. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, see, not much. Uh, everything's been going good for me. Uh, I've noticed uh, the CEO of TikTok has been in trial lately. Yeah, like in, are you talking about like in the, uh, the, the congressional thing, hearings and stuff? Yes. Yeah, and actually I heard that, um, in part of that, like, uh, one guy actually openly admitted to something stupid and got caught in it, but I can't remember exactly what his name was and what he said, but I saw a clip of it and I'm having a, a stoner brain fart right now. So yeah, he was being grilled by both sides of uh, the political parties. Creek Alley, look at you. They are wondering if they should uh, ban the app. Honestly, no, they shouldn't, because it's not it's not the government's choice to tell you if you should do something, no, do something or not. It's your choice. At the other yeah. day. Are, are we talking about the Trump thing about his uh, quote unquote TikTok. arrest, not it's arrest, oh, like, uh, the TikTok thing? Yeah. Oh, the what? What? What about TikTok and Donald Trump? No, the, I know the, about the Donald Trump and Stormy Daniels thing, which is like old news. But yeah. no, uh, TikTok CEO has been in a testimony uh, in the uh, Congress for uh, like yeah, they were... a couple of days. What were yeah, you saying? Because they're that? trying to. Because Congress is trying to ban TikTok. Oh yeah, like uh, for people under eighteen or something, right? They passed a bill. I think, it, I think they're trying to ban it throughout house. the entire country. Well, actually, okay. I, yeah. I, I'm not, like, against it, but at the same time, like, the reason why I'm against TikTok is mostly, mostly because of, like, the small clips. It's, it's, it's training people to have short-term memory. Yeah. Yeah. Yo! Somebody, it that. No, it trains you to have short-term memory. I can't remember who it was. You know who else said that, Alice? Entertainment what? is going to limit itself. Oh, uh, hey, what about hey, 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 guys, guys, guys Creek is trying to talk here. Oh, sorry, I was saying, um, I forget who it was, but years and years ago, somebody said that entertainment <laughs> is going to oh. the is going ah, to over time. Down, uh, or just, uh, keep talk after the last. Seconds, so on and so shorter, you know, to keep people's attention over. Slowly but surely, as a collective, losing that attention uh, to watch anything over fucking two minutes. God knows if a YouTube video, I see the time and it's like ten minutes, I'm skipping over. Come on. So yeah, I used to be the same way for a while, and then like recently, I've been but getting then I a get lot on of YouTube Shorts, and I can sit there for hours looking at. Oh yeah, just swipe and no swipe problem. and swipe. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely like uh, de-evolving the mind, where like people yeah. will, like only refrain things in small Shorter things like attention span and it has to get yep. right to the point or else it's like not not interested yeah, exactly like yeah. that's what i was saying too man milk what do you think about that that's why you're the spokesperson uh, uh, for the younger generation yeah you are the younger of us like with the the impact of like uh these like little short shorts that people are watching and just swiping and watching I like mean... what do you think it does to people your age do you think it like i mean with <laughs> most of the things of i i have adhd so and with my i have a very short attention span the only times that it is hard for me to pay attention is if the topic is uninteresting tiktok and the shorts for youtube have been but it doesn't give you really what you need because you can sit there forever and you'll forget half the stuff that you you see you, you like <laughs> absorb right because it's not long enough for your for a lot of people's brains to like hold yeah. on to it unless it's something that you actually care about yeah it's just but, pumped in long enough for you to move on to the next thing yeah yeah and then you swipe it you're like oh and you swipe it, like and then you can like say that you take a test of like you test like 10 <laughs> people of uh, what they want but, like, you you test people of what they watched on a short they probably nine times out of ten they will not remember what they watched like mm -hmm. a few shorts ago because it's something it's not something that you you think of remembering 
if you watch a video, like a YouTube video that's 10 minutes long, you may remember most things from it because it, they were actually going into detail, not trying to pack something into like a minute. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think like that that's how they manipulate some people nowadays is like by doing these little 30 second clips, people will see them and think like, oh, well, that's the truth of things. Even though it might not be factually real, but it, it's impacting people, like, where like, it's it, slowing it, down. Like, I'm just gonna use this because this is what my brain went to. Like, for presidents, say that you made all campaigns tense, like, uh, 30 oh, minutes, or 30 seconds long, and you only give the good things, and that's all, the only thing the campaigns are, then people will expect it to be a good thing, but then they become president, and they don't do all the things that is in the thing. That's a very that, good point. It's not yep. going no. to be what you think it's going to be. That's a very good point. Like, how, like, these little small clips can be edited perfectly, where people can get manipulated into an ideology that might not be actually yeah, factual and yeah. truthful. Exactly. Like, exactly, yeah. Xander, I think That's we're having a good point. show today. Hell yeah. That's a really good point. <laughs> And especially the way AI technology is getting, you can make virtually anybody say anything you fucking want them to. If I want oh, yeah. Donald Trump to say, oh, like, you know, grab her by the cooter, I play golf, and I like flaming hot Cheetos, I could absolutely make it sound yeah. exactly like he said. With a deep fake and stuff that like that, yeah. Along with it, where it looks like he's saying that exactly. You know, it's like, what was that, Milk? There's a newer thing that I recently saw, because it'll come in through my TikTok or YouTube feed where people have either created new AI things where, because I'm a story writer, I kind of write a, a stories, um, where it can write a whole story if you give it a prompt, or it can make a whole new person and make it look like as real as you see me right now. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, no, like China has something yeah. like that. They have uh, actually several news anchors uh, that are completely uh, like AI generated and, and voiced and all that stuff. Um, and it's... Xander's been AI this entire time. <laughs> None of us oh my God. This is just an <laughs> just... AI right here, over here with yeah. the Omni Coalition. Huh. Yeah. If I were an AI, huh. somebody would delete it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> be like, ah, oh, shit, it got alcoholism. Delete. <laughs> oh, That's oh, the fourth shit. bot this week. Rip. Oh, God. Hmm. Wow, wow. It has brain oh, issues. Yeah. We gotta go. Uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. But no, Sohan, what what have you seen in the last week that like has been interesting for you in your uh, local area? Because I know you're in the the southern area and stuff. Like all of us are kind of spread out across each other. But um, Sohan, what's been going on down in the uh, good old the deep south? Fucking rain. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you just so you're rain. Getting... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love rainy rain weather. I gotta be honest with you. I, I do too. It. It makes me sleepy. Rain on a window, yeah. Rain, rain, go that. away. If I hear rain hit my window, I'm out in like two seconds. I heard. I, give a shit. I heard some. One in the afternoon. I'm... Well, other than weather, but Sohan, I heard some weird, uh, like educational stuff going out in uh, in uh, Louisiana. Like the in New Orleans, oh, uh, like school district. Really? Is it new to me? Oh wait, wait, wait. Like... Yeah, well, well, we're talking about the deep south right now. We'll, we'll talk just about all the locations that we're all located. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm in the east. I'm in the east too. So, well, I'm actually originally a midwestern. So, like, I think we all have it covered. Like all of us on here. But Sohan, uh. Have you seen any, like, malarkey, uh, stuff and crazy shit with, uh, news in your local area lately? Not really. Not really? Really? I don't be watching the news as much. Yeah, okay. Well, anything, uh, worthy of note for your last week in your life? You saw that thing with TikTok, which you know, already know how I feel about it. Uh, yeah. don't, don't ban it because can't have a government tell you what to do it should be your choice if you're stupid enough to you know kill on that app yep. then go ahead well yeah i don't and... have it personally but 
I can see the appeal of like YouTube shorts or I mean, even Instagram reels. I find myself being on there for hours. Just Instagram, Facebook, goofy TikTok, ass content, YouTube. I barely use any of them now. Yeah, I barely use any of them now. Like, uh, I only use my Facebook to like uh, talk to my mom, yeah. like back in Minnesota, and and then I sometimes oh, use it to uh, video chat my mom, my stepmom, when she's out in with my dad out in uh, New Zealand oh. to like say hi and stuff, FaceTime and see their face. But generally, when I talk to my dad, I don't do oh, that. Okay, but, I. That's the only time I actually use it, and and then to look at pictures of my grandniece and my nieces I, I uh, growing use, uh, up. Facebook to talk to my fiance. Okay, well, okay Alex, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, something did happen two years, uh, two days ago, at uh, the University of New Orleans. Yep. I thought yeah, I, I kept was wondering if he had down immense uh, cybersecurity. Yeah. Dota didn't even like that one. That that's one that's interesting. Like that's an interesting yeah. thing. Like I said, like I was thinking there was something going on. I heard something about it, but I was like, hmm. But I thought you knew yeah. about it more than I did. But yeah, I think that's like why I um why I romanticize maybe and even yearn for it's fucking crazy being in the fifties and sixties, even the seventies. I, I think the big reason is because I grew up with all the technology and the internet just started when I was growing up and. Yep. Yeah. I just long well, for a world personally where none of that is there, and it's more. Of well, a, I'll pick the '80s because the '50s would be a death sentence for me. Well, well actually, well, technically, Queen Elizabeth sent the first. Well, Queen Elizabeth technically sent the first royal email back in what was it in the '70s, Yo, Xander? Oh, hold on a second, uh, Creek Alley. Can you increase your outbound because it doesn't seem like people can hear outbound. you. Outbound. Okay, uh, by outbound, you're just talking in like fucking trucker speak. As in course, the, buddy, the volume that we can there hear you, you at. My input volume, uh, let me know when it gets a little oh, better. Yeah, that's better. Oh, better. Oh, dude, oh, dude, there we go. Whoa, I don't want it to be too loud. loud. I don't want it to be. Well, well, it's loud for me, but I, I just I don't want actually, people can fix, continuously uh, talking over you. But, um, yeah, no, I think that's why I always kind of romanticize that time period is that. People had more of a physical connection. You went out and you did stuff. I mean, it's easy to say that people were, you know, happier then or thinner then or yada, yada, yada. First of all, a lot of coke and a lot of going out and doing things. But um, they, uh, as a general rule, they were kind of happier in the 60s and 70s as well, opposed to today. Also be well, also part of it, I think, might be because of the nuclear family. Yeah. You had you had more people in the 60, 50s, 60s, and 70s, and beyond before that, that were like you know, father and mother like households, and yeah. after that, like it just got it was robbed. really cut and got, dry. It got robbed somewhere, like yeah. because, like I think after 9/11, a lot of all of those morals, like oh, going to church every Sunday with your family, spending time as a family, going out and doing things. A lot of that was after 9-11. It was like, nope, let's stay inside. Let's not do anything like that. What's this internet business? Email? That'll never catch on. Go fuck yourself. Email. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that sort I, of think thing. I think it's a mixture of both. Well, you, you had that, and then 20 years later, like, you, a few months later, you have the, uh, the pandemic. Yeah. Well, and, nowadays, and, and, yeah. And so that that's where I get like all weird. It's like you know, with what this was, it's like it's like another form of the flu and respiratory. And people like I'm not denying that this is not like a, a bad like you know issue to get. Like co some people with yeah. COVID had the very most mild symptoms. Some yeah. people have the worst of symptoms. You know, <laughs> to make that noise and they <laughs> whoop. more people in his head. <laughs> yeah, Yay, on my bowl. That's when the symptoms are bad. You can either have I feel good or <laughs> so. I feel good. Nee, 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 nee. I know. <laughs> now we like to have our random laugh tracks and stuff, and I think it, it adds a good yeah. little to uh, 
And also, I want to see how people, like, stay focused after it goes off. That's, like, the other thing about that. So, But anyway. about COVID, yeah, I feel, I, you know, I feel, um, I, like, I used to have the same uh, friend group since we, we all were in kindergarten and we grew up together, we became adults together. Now, none of us hardly ever talk because of the pandemic. We never saw each other and never really did anything. And it's, uh, it's, it's a real fucking bummer, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this like, my COVID biggest, shit. my biggest but, bummer to COVID was the fact that um, I didn't get, I didn't get the jab, and no. my niece just gave birth to a kid, and so now I have a grand niece, and during her whole time as a baby, I never got to hold her because hmm. I wasn't allowed to see her, and I was told that by my family. Yeah, it's like unless you get vaccinated, you can't come to our family things and blah 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 but you know what now now it's over and I could but like I feel bad because my own family like well because you did this you couldn't do that I'm like well you robbed me of something important to me like that was my grandies I, oh, and yeah. I never got to hold her as a baby and I had every Be right to it. and I was not sick I had no symptoms no nothing but because of this whole COVID thing, I got denied of holding her. And am I upset about it? Yeah. But am no. I going to hate my family over it for their choices because, you know, they yeah. felt that way? No, I'm not going to hate them over it either. Like, I've given, I, I've forgiven them and forgotten, but I'm not going to forget. The way so I look I, at I, it no, now, I forget, people are still that forget. way. People are still that way, though. Oh, no, there and are some people. And it's been three years, you know. My fiancé still wears a mask when we go into the store. And especially oh, wow. working for the military, it's like it becomes such a problem with COVID even to just get on the base. It's like, all right, listen, it's time to grow up, all right? It's done. We got over it. If you get it, okay. Nice. But it's time to grow up and focus on more important things than, than being scared about this, you know. Yep. I mean... Yeah. It's just time that everybody um, moves on. Just let it go. Yeah, just fucking. I mean, I mean, I know from now on, since the pandemic, there'll always be that excuse for a lot of people. I don't want to go back to work. It's like, okay, then don't. Uh, then go live on the streets and be yeah. more of the problem. Live in a live in a fucking homeless community. Doesn't matter. That's gonna suck for you though. Once you get there. Well, well but, our tax dollars can only uh, take so much. <laughs> But exactly, also, and people, my brother actually is one of those people, he took advantage of the checks that they were giving during COVID, you know, not going to work, mm -hmm. just sending the money and all that, and he still hasn't gotten a job. I'm like, you need to get a job, and he's like, no, 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 and I'm like, yeah, you fucking do, because they're asking for a lot of that money back, <laughs> Yeah. and you're going to have nowhere to go, no job to pay it back, no job to pay for your stuff, you're going to have nothing, you should not have relied on that from the government. First of all, you can't rely on the government for shit. Um, but, and that's coming from somebody who works for the government. So that ought to tell you. Is um, Mel sleeping? No. Oh. No, oh. This way your head's angled. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm kind of tired. But I'm no, if you do sleep time. like that, it's going to hurt like a motherfucker. Though. Yeah, <laughs> you're no, I sleep on my stomach. It's going to hurt. You're going to have a neck cramp there, baby. I, 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 sleep, on my, I sleep on my stomach. You're going to wake up with like a Ooh. bad case of eating. Can't get any here. worse. But no, like seriously, I understand like, well, what I understand, like, I, what I feel bad about is like, the nuclear family. Xander, yeah. you know about the nuclear family I and am how, aware uh, of the nuclear family, yes. Yeah, and, and out in California, you, you've seen it more worse than a lot of other people how that degrades the area because of it. Well, Xander, what is what is your experience about like the decline of like the nuclear family? The nuclear family essentially Can is... somebody explain really quick what the nuclear family is? Just yeah, he's about to do, he, Yeah, he's about to. So uh, essentially the nuclear family is, you know, uh, a mother, a father, uh, you know, a couple of kids, you know, um, the white picket fence. Well, that's that's the, that's the dream. The actual family itself, the the way it's constructed, <laughs> like it allows uh, for you know, like self sufficiency and population growth. 
like all of this, like if you like a really good example of of what they're trying to do to most people these days, they've already done to the black community. They they yeah. they went in there. Now, yeah, yes, the black community, you know, was under like a lot of like you know bullshit and everything. So they had to rely only on themselves. The police weren't going to help them. You know, government hmm. wasn't going to help them. So they were a very communal uh, that, so, society. Mm -hmm. And there is actually like uh, I, I don't think it was. Maybe it was Larry. No, not Larry Elder, but there's some other guy that my dad listens to often, and he spoke once about uh, having grown up in Harlem. It was it was not a crime ridden you know cesspit that we know of today. Like you know, yes, it wasn't the best neighborhood, but people actually like yeah. went to bed with their doors they unlocked flourished. because they had to rely only on each other. A very neighborhood neighborly com and communal society. Then Daddy Government came in and started giving you know like welfare and like um, and uh, reparations and started just like just giving them free shit. And then so they didn't need to work. They they lost uh, they lost the ability to, to you know gain their own you know values and everything. And then now they're all just you know reliant like like you know they they take uh, they take birth control and everything. And like it's it's it, the, the whole population yeah, it's, it's is stagnated and it's actually going in the opposite direction. The black community is shrinking because they have no you know. No moral values, unfortunately, because of, of what government has done to them. Like government well, has got to not, get out well, of lies. Well, call me Stevie Wonder, because I'm opening up a beer. <laughs> huh. Well, no, no, well, Xander, what I was going to say, it's not just the black community that's hurting over this. Well, yeah, yeah now like, they're doing it to it, everybody. It's, it's every, it's every community. Well, I, so, I like, know that. Uh, that's what I was saying, Alice. Like I was saying, they tested it with the black community starting back in like the '60s, and then they saw how you know how. Well, that completely destroyed those people. So then they just expanded it to everybody because at the end of the day, they want us to become a freaking like communist fascist society because it's it's cheaper, it's more efficient, and at the end of the day, like you know, when all chips are down, it gets the job done at the cost of human life. You know. Yeah. Well, it only takes risk a human life time. depend on your government is what it is. Yeah. Well, it only takes. A it's sort of, of like an ask, don't tell. Well, it only takes them in our time. Or don't ask, don't tell, sorry. I said it three times. I'm sorry. It Put only it takes... Laggy. It only takes so much time before you can you can flirtate our waters and docile us to be complacent with you. We know what yeah. you're doing, and eventually there are more of us than they are of them, and the reason why they're worried about that is why they want to depopulate. Because then they can control a smaller population. Exactly. See if they can. But it makes sense. You know, especially now, like with the technology we have in these days, like it, it is, it is a, it was the, the dream of the globalist elitists for the past several thousand years. Now everything can be automated. Everything is a machine. If they keep just yeah. enough of us plebs to keep, you know, the the machines oiled and the wheels turning then they can live in complete luxury, have everything handed to them, and we're just the mechanics. Yep. Like, that that's all we are. Our, our use in, in their world is just to Cogs. keep the machines, you know, going. So, hmm. you know, until they can automate it, that, you know, because at, at some point I down the line, somebody, somebody has to put in the programming. But if they can automate everything, then, they're, then they'll do that. And then we're looking at a society very akin to, if you've ever seen uh, the Animatrix, uh, the, be the right before the uh, the second renaissance when everybody was living in the lap of luxury that's what the elitists yeah. want for themselves we're only around until they can automate you know the robots to, to maintain and take care of themselves and upgrade themselves and then they'll just eliminate us that's another thing I wanted to touch on that I was thinking of is the morals of robots they're getting to a point now where they're so realistic is it not just the same as having slaves you know, where where does it draw the line between inhumane and humane? If they can think for themselves, speak for themselves and everything, but we use them only for shit around the house. Like, if I took shit on my carpet right now, a motherfucker would probably come up and clean it, right? So, like, where does the degrade <laughs> not You do everything around the house. You do this and that. When does that draw the line morally where it's not all right? It's not just that. It's, you know, if you look at... <laughs> If you look at stuff like chat... Why Jimmy, does that fish noise, by the way, have so much reverb? I don't it know. It gets me every time. Is it, is it me? God damn no. it. No. 
no, no, it's, no, it's, it's somebody edited the video. Uh, but, but no, like, no, uh, I don't, I don't. Oh no, I'm not actually listening to the uh, stream anymore. Right here, the laugh tracks. So. Uh, oh. oh, I just hear it through people's. Uh, well, the no, point, I the point I'm trying all. to make is that, oh, like, no. recently. Oh, I, it's because I'm on the stream. The point I'm trying to make is recently I saw an article that ChatGBT was used to pass with a 90% success score. Uh, the bar exam for lawyers. Mm. What? Yes. Well, it doesn't take much for a guy? lawyer, by the way. Hey-oh! Oh, oh, God. What's oh. the deal with lawyers? All jokes aside, though, like that, because we're talking yeah. about AI, and there's there's so many different ways you can go with talking about AI, you know, because t- t- there's so many things that they can do in, in today's ah. world. But what's really scary is we are at serious risk of, within the next couple of generations, Losing literacy on a serious level. Yeah. Because... AI is a danger, in my opinion. It's well, not no, a plus. Well, it's not biggest, anything no. fun. No, no, it no. It was fun in the beginning, but the it is a danger. danger. It is, it a, is a danger. It's not danger. the biggest, but it is a danger, AI. The biggest danger is lessening the education of our children. Yes. Yeah, that too. But see, that you know, you have AI. Thing. You have, like, you know, uh, speech to text. You know, I, I can literally talk to my phone and, and have it text, you know, people. You know, there's people out there with smart houses. I mean, hell, what the hell is a smart light bulb? You know, you talk to your light bulb. I was like... literally going to say, um, I actually have a Bluetooth it's light bulb in my room. Wow. But I do like I do like that. There, see, there's, diff- there's a difference between shit like that and shit that harms. Like, shit like that, I love being able to just stay in my bed, go on my phone, and hit fucking turn off my light bulb. You well, know? no, it's like, that just makes you lazy. Why don't you just go outside and help the community and then touch sit some and grass. your bed? Yeah, no, go touch yeah, grass. Why don't you go outside, help your community in some way or another? I do that, but at the end of the and, day, and then you know. scroll up like. And I also like, like when I get high, I can change it, though, it to a different but... color. That's very fun when you're. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, you change your so whole room you. light to like a purple. That's awesome. Mm. Um, that is pretty cool. That is though. You can't oh, deny it. Hang on, hang on. Uh, are you talking about like a light bulb where you can change colors? Yeah, it's oh, on, it's an app on your phone. It connects to the light bulb, and then okay. you can change. Oh. You can do like oh. certain effects with oh. it and stuff. It's oh, oh, see okay. that stuff like okay. that. That's harmless. That's fine. Okay. But yet okay. there's other AI stuff or computer technology stuff or it really right. modern, I should say, that is harmful, like uh, so, making people fucking stupid. So how about this? Or, how about know, that? Dude. Like my color changing light bulb doesn't Dude. make me stupid. Dude. I guess it does because I paid Dude. for it. Dude. But yeah. You know. What are you doing? Dude. Dude. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, just like that. Oh yes, you set it to a set. Is that a genie light? G E E N I. Genie. It's just a. It's just a light I have. Um. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I can light. make. It, I can make it purple. Here. I love it. Purple. I love it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's my favorite color. But anyway, no, that's neither here nor there. Like, the point yeah. is, like, you can do all the point that. point is, stuff like that is great, but then there's the other hand of technology in AI and shit like that, where it's just, oh. it's, it's not going to go anywhere good, I can guarantee you. Like, well, you're talking no. about, like, there be, like, a um, limit to what, what, what we make things do? Yeah. Like, any normal person should think, because... I mean, that's a phenomenal way of putting it, actually, yeah. I mean, the only thing that's going through my head right now is fucking Wally. Wow. Mm. Yeah, bunch of. There, okay, and, listen, you know, listen, Wally. listen. Wally. So we're I heading that way. way. Okay, so listen, I grew we're up on. That way. I, I, I grew up on a certain um, YouTuber. His name is Game Theory. It's not bad. Um, and one of the things he was talking about was. <laughs> Just a Game Theory. <laughs> yeah. This is um, Game Theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Anyways, um, I was watching his thing on Wally where he was talking about they had to leave because of how much stuff they started doing with the world with electronics and all that. They yeah. had to leave, and um, due to the fact that they could not fix it in time, they had to stay in space. And, Although one of the theories, it was in his Cannibal Week thing that he did, and he was talking about how there was nobody, no older people there at all. And all they were drinking were slushies. So he was like, hey, hello uh. there. Um, but it's also a thing where we're none of them knew how to way. walk. None of them could walk. 
all the babies were taken care of by robots. Much like uh, with the walking, it could be said for other stuff where people rely so much on what we have now. Like Wait. the the register went down at McDonald's. I couldn't buy a burger with cash because they only knew how to t take card. And I was like, what um, the fuck? That's like right, you're you, relying too heavily if, on it. Yeah. If you look yeah. at Wally, I've got the if fade. You look at, I've got the fade going. If you look at Wally and the way that it yeah. is on the ship, that is what we are going to become, basically. It, like, Essentially, yeah. None of us will be able to do anything on our own. All of no. our children will be taken it's... care of by robots that could most likely turn on us and kill everybody in the world. And like I said, all, you look at the 60s and person? the 70s and the atomic family, and you look back on that, and that's just the polar opposite of where we're heading. Though what we should just personally... do a fucking U-turn and go right back to that. Like, oh, you're right, you're hey, right, you're right. Hey, what are, you up, personally, go back. what are you guys all personally doing to us to prevent that for your future spawns? For your, I, like, um, if you have kids, like, I don't have kids. I, I don't have kids. And nephews. I, I wish I could, but, like, what are you doing? Hey, what I could don't... we do to prevent that? And the latest thing I, think I you did was teach bring my nephew. How to bushcraft, and you have to learn how to bushcraft. Yeah. And you have to learn how to self-sustain, and learn how to <sighs> like collect energy, and you don't have to do it with a solar panel, for thousands of dollars. When my nephew was about ten, I water. brought him to a drive-in with can my classic energy. car, and that spawned a chain reaction. Or he just wanted to learn everything about the past, listen to the music, you know, like everything and i was like oh fuck i at least did some, something good once in my life and they were like yeah, oh yeah, yeah i mean it's just i don't want to glorify the past because yeah it does have its downsides there was a lot of turbulent shit going on where it wasn't good but at the very same time i mean i would i would give anything to live in that time just to experience real human connection and, you know, the only electronic in your house is your fucking TV that doesn't even come in in color. Uh, <laughs> so. You know what I, yeah. like, imagined was uh, back before there was electricity and relying on just That's also a really a cool time, yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying bushcraft stuff. Like, Well, have you seen the I channel time... um, Townsends by any chance? What? What was it called? Townsends, they do like 18th century, 16th century stuff. It's really informative, it shows you how to build uh, like a, a home, uh, how to start fires, how to do everything like they did before all of anything we rely on. And uh, for those who haven't seen it, the way the world's heading, oh, I suggest you watch it. Oh, I uh, suggest everybody should learn how to do some kind of like... Everybody should watch room. Duck and Cover from the 50s. Duck Actually, the if the nuclear cover. bomb goes off, just duck and cover. Cause, yeah. um, duck and covering is not going to fucking help you for a nuclear no. blast. No. However, will be dead, but it's some form of safety, I suppose, in quotation marks. Yeah, any, anything that make you feel safe, right? Mm -hmm. I will yep. rather pull a prickle pain. Uh, what was the one? I will rather pull a prickle pain than duck and cover. Huh. Wow, that's kind of dark. Oh, so you want Courtney Love to come out there and have someone uh, shoot your if... brain out with a shotgun? Oh, I mean, yeah, Courtney, Courtney Love absolutely just... killed the motherfucker. I gotta tell you that well, right now, well, right here. She, well, no, she didn't. That first... shotgun was longer hey, than shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, I know this better than you because I've been around longer than you. and I, I also remember... don't like Nirvana that much. I'm more of a Beatles guy. <laughs> so, fair enough. Go um, off, Queen. I... Okay, well, I don't care about that. It doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter, like, what you're... Oh, just because I'm a Beatles fan, it means nothing. I'm actually... I was shooting something I think somebody... Myself. Somebody pulled the trigger, but it wasn't Courtney Love. And I think... And there... It, like, there was a... There's a book out there called Who Killed Kurt Cobain? It was done by uh, two private investigators. I actually read the whole book. This was back in, like... 2005 2006 I read the book and there it implements uh, David Grohl and some other people but that's neither here nor there yeah but like at the same time like I you know what who, you know who killed Kirk Cobain 
himself. Society. Well, that, yeah. That's what I was going for, but... I also think it had to do with drug use and alcohol abuse and stuff like that. I'll you admit, I, uh, well, yeah, the, well, that's why I said drug, but I mean, I'll admit, even being an alcoholic, there are times when I get absolutely trashed and I'm like, fuck it, you know, who's, who's going to, you know, like you start getting in this mindset of depression, but at the same token, it's like, mm, it's going to happen eventually, so just wait it out. Hey, Xander. Yeah. I didn't cough. You didn't cough? That was a good hit. Oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> no Scooby snap. Oh, 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 yeah, don't. Now I did. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh there, it there, is. there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. But, um, I'll, I, I want to use my turn for something I've learned recently. My grandmother has been dishing out a lot of weird things about the family. Uh, since she's close to death, she's I think 88 Andrew, now. It's time. I'm here. And um, oh yeah. And my great uncle, oh, that's a fucking nice bong for one. That's a very nice bong, Xander. I love it. Great piece. Very simple. <laughs> Water yes. pieces. Damn. Water pieces are my favorite. All right. If I'm gonna smoke weed, oh, it has oh, to be a water piece. Freaking right? Alice is dying. Oh, Jesus but, lady. Okie dokie. Yeah. But, um, my grandmother was telling me about my great uncle, who was very prominent in Vietnam. He was. I mean, I don't know what he did personally, because it wasn't really talked about, but she's been airing out a lot of old dirt. And he died in 1973, I think. And they went to identify the body at the car crash site. And both her and my gran uh, great grandfather said that this, that, that's not him. And they were like, yes, it is. So they, you know, yada yada, moved on. Uh, probably 75, she hired a private investigator to look into the event. And the private investigator came back and said, I suggest you don't look into this any further. On I'm top of that, so she was sending letters to her sister at the time about the incident. And the mailman put the letters back, opened, and said, you're not supposed to send these. And he gave them back to her. Dang. It's fucked up. Either. Now, I got photos of him the other day to restore. and Because uh, if anybody has old family photos, send them my way. I can restore it to HD. Just saying, throwing that out there. Hate to plug my shit. But I could do art. I could do art from the sixties and seventies and restore old family photos for you anytime. Oh, dude, really? No, really? absolutely, yeah, for free. Yes, if you have any old family photos that you want in color HD, full 1080p, fucking send them my way, please. I love doing that Possibly. shit. Absolutely, I might. I might have. Something I hope so. I, I love that I, shit. I love it. Hold I on, do... let me get. Let me get my it's iPad real quick. I'll show you an example. Minnesota in, that, in the storage with a friend. I have a question, because I've been, like, coming back and uh, leaving and coming back. What have we talked about while I was gone? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. We spoke about yeah, AI for a while. Where we Yeah, and I also, I also, like, I saw you dancing around, so I started doing, like, weird hand gestures with you. And you started doing back, so that's why I was doing, like, that weird crap. But I was seeing you Mel do some like stuff and I was like, ah, so I was like kind of like dancing with you and I was like and then oh, I'm trying to keep my brain on I gotta Andrew. show you this so, Yeah, like she was moving so, around so I was kind of like moving around doing weird things kind of whatever Yeah, hey, TVs. I got something What, what Sohan? What do you got? Ooh what is that? So really yeah. quick, this is the original photo. Wait, 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 no, Sam, Sohan said he has something. What this you got, is the original. Sohan? Oh, wait, yeah, I'll let them do their thing. I was gone. I apologize. No, it's okay, hon. We still love you. But Sohan. Oh. What you got? Wow! I oh. Oh, it's a walk-in. Nice. I, I, oh, wait, no. Oh, why? Oh, I can't see it. Long that people used to hey, put let, hair let me in. back 
Let me back out and then pop back in. People did put oh, hair in lockets. That's yes, weird. Yes, they no. did. That's like almost a fetish thing. Ah, I feel people, like. Oh, this ain't hair in this one. Oh, uh, people cute. put hair in lockets and then they also would make hair, uh, art out of hair of their dead I relatives. Xander. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Look it up. Look it up. I'm not gonna look make up. no grandpa hair if oh, I can yeah, yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> look that. it. Look it up. Um, look no, up I believe hair you. art. It, it's like really pretty, but it's also really fucking weird. This is gonna sound really fucked up, but there's also period blood art that looks phenomenal, but the That's subject of it is really fucked up. Yeah, hey. print. I love that. So, what's everybody's birthstone, by the way? I don't, I don't know. know. My I don't know mine. Yeah, I was I... born on September 29th at 9:29. Okay, well, I did not well, know my stone. You, well, you and but I. But really have... quick, hey, really hey, quick, I'm... really quick, really quick. Speaking of the, before I forget, the old restorations. Here's the original. This is my grandfather being a fucking moron. Um, oh, nice. But it went from that to this. Oh. Mm. Look at that mustache. That's not a bad mustache. No, Probably, anyways, uh, no, no, I can actually duster. answer. I know your birthstone because you get the same birthstone as me, so don't worry. Sohan, what's oh, your birthstone? No background. Paradot. It's a lot better to what? see it. Paradox. Paradox? Uh, Paradot. What, yeah. what is... Xander, can you pull up what that is? What much is that? The poor man's emerald. Emerald. Oh, emerald? Oh, okay. No, so it's, so emerald. it's the poor man's emerald. Mine is apparently Paradot. sapphire. No, oh, yeah, it is sapphire. Oh it my sapphire. god. And the, and the and Steven then... Universe one comes up, of course. What? So, hey, I love the little... Dude, did you see the guy with the hands? Oh, oh hey, there's so hands Right there. Yeah, right there. Click it on it. Yep. This is so hands Dude, that should be so hands freaking profile picture. The guy with his hands out right on the top. Second one on over. This one? Is that a guy? Yeah. yeah. No, that's from Steven <laughs> yeah, Universe. Yeah, this picture. That's from Steven Universe, Alice. Oh, I didn't know you know. But anyway, also, so that's your birthstone? And, yep. And this locket contains my mom's ashes. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. Oh. Dude, that's that, actually really that's a piece. Great. That is a priceless so, artifact right there. Yep. Oh, dude. So, so, yeah, that's like basically emerald, right? It's, it's right. called the poor yeah. man's emerald. The poor man's. I don't think that's a poor man's <coughs> emerald. That's... No, that's a shitty thing to call it because you're rich, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Because that's, no, like, that's somebody who cool raised stuff. you and loved you. You're rich in <laughs> love, not in not in anything else. But to have that as a stone as well and know that it's somebody you loved and somebody who loved you. That's yep. poor man's emerald, my ass. That's the best thing in existence. Xander, you're February, and I can't remember your gemstone. Xander's gonna okay. pass out stones made of him, and I'm gonna turn it into a brass knuckle. Oh my is what God. I'm gonna do. No. Well, I know Xander's my, I stone is gonna be in a Fe brass is knuckle. Is February for Ruby? Good Make February sure you pro check, uh, liberal. Yeah, no, I will. Xander, I'll just absolutely knock him out with Ruby? it. Or is it... What? Or is it... No, February, uh, the birthstone uh, for February. Is it Ruby? I don't no, think so. I, no, I don't think it is either, but like, and I know. What's you your, know what? what's your birthstone? I just realized birthstone that was like Amethyst. Oh, dude, Xander, that makes so much sense with you now. Yeah, purple. Dude, yeah. Dude. No, Amethyst? Oh my god. That's, that's what I call I call my PC the Amethyst, uh, amethyst hey, Beast. <laughs> well, here's, a, here's a fun thing about Amethyst. It's like, actually, like, they give it they give it out to people for, like, AA and stuff like that and recovery because it's, it, it, it's an energy stone. It gives yeah. good energy and stuff. But never wear it when you're sleeping because... Uh, apparently it'll keep you awake at night because of the energy it gives off. I There's something amethyst. about... Yeah, amethyst is a I, positive energy stone. It's really it. beautiful. And, but no, so I... Amethyst, um, what I about quartz? What is quartz? Quartz is... Uh, I, I've actually... Uh, I used to collect uh, agates when I back, lived back in Minnesota, but I've actually come into... Uh, 
quartzite agates, which is like quartz is a really like kind of hard stone that's kind of can be kind of clear and cloudy, but like it also like crystallizes. You know, yeah. have you ever seen those gemstones with like like kind of like natural like obelisk like shapes? That's a lot of time yeah. it's quartz with gem with it. Quartz and quartzite are wonderful things. I I found uh, agates with quartz in the center of it, like that were like like you know if you cut it in half and or break it in half, you can see some crazy yeah. crap in the like like the superior hey, agates up yeah. in Minnesota. Oh sorry, would you mind uh, reading off that article that I sent you? Because that is my only hope for uh, for things. Oh, the rotating well, anyways, universe. Well, I want to talk about. Yeah. Well, I also want to talk about the other. But I just uh, I, I like the way you you go through articles and you narrow it down and do the best points. So. Uh, I figured I'd leave it up to you instead of me when I just ramble on. All right. Well, I will read this real quick. Uh, we are approaching our hour here, so uh, let me just read this real quick. Um, from fizz.org, how a rotating universe makes time travel possible. It turns out that time travel into the past is actually relatively easy. All you need to do is make the universe rotate. Well, that, you know, uh, is an old Superman oh. theory. The famous mathematician Kurt Gödel was a friend and neighbor of Albert Einstein at Princeton. He became incredibly curious about Einstein's general theory of relativity, which was and continues to be our modern formulation of the gravitational force. That theory connects the presence of matter and energy to the bending and warping of space and time, and then connects the bending of uh, that bending and warping to the behavior mm. of, ma of matter mm. and energy. So, um, so essentially, uh, it sounds like, uh, like, yeah, just, uh, just make the universe rotate the opposite direction. So, like <laughs> what Superman did, but you know, beyond the Earth. So, essentially, that. So. Everybody can have their own atomic family. <laughs> oh my no, goodness. I don't know fucking dead. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, like, so, uh, We went through yours, Xander. We went through yours. Uh, we have Sapphire now. Remember, I was <laughs> on the mm. So, I do believe Sapphire. Sapphire is mine. Yep, and mine too. I'm in September as well. <gasps> Actually, Xander, look up Sapphire. Sapphire is very unique for one reason, because it comes in very, very many more colors than mo any of the other uh, gemstones. You are that correct. Are. So like blue, that. it's not just a blue fucking stone. No, that dude. Comes in yeah, others. no. It comes in green, yellow, oh, white. Holy shit! We got our own yeah. fucking choice about it. Ah, September for the win. Yeah. Ooh, look at black. Yeah. Yeah, the black sapphire, like Ooh. they're yeah. Like There's see, also like, a blue diamond. Star inside of it. Dude, no, the, that that far the, left, uh, right hand the corner one, that the one looks inside yeah. of the it, it, of it. Oh, dude, I hear my boyfriend doing, doing eagles. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing Sheriff Wilson. My boyfriend Sheriff Wilsoning. Oh god. Oh god, but no, like sapphire is a very unique gem because mm. it comes in so many colors. However, my favorite and those from September is... have so many different modes and moods and personalities, um, much well, like the not... stones. Well, not all Virgos are organized. Ah, I was trying to be prophetic, and you spit in my mouth. <laughs> well, I'm a dude. I'm a September baby I'm too. Okay, but I'm also a yeah. Reagan baby. So. Oh yeah, Reagan was awesome. I'm just gonna throw that out there. He was. Tell Actually, the Russians like... about Project Star Wars. Does anybody know about that? Well, I know no, about Project Star Wars. Say, Project Star like, Wars. Dude, I just like to. <laughs> no, I just like to say that, like. Stupid Russians. One thing I liked about <laughs> Reagan is that he had a good sense of humor. Yeah. I feel good. I feel good. That's what. The one, the one thing they got right no. in Back to the Future was when he was telling them that Reagan was present, and he's like, the actor? You know? It's like. <laughs> I, I sometimes forget that Reagan was. An, an actor. actor before being president. Reagan I mean, actually, yeah. before uh, yeah. Reagan, when he was on the road to become governor of California, he actually spoke at my dad's graduation. Wow. From high school, yeah. That was before he was Very governor cool. of the state out here, and he was just like, "Oh, look at this two-piece, two-bit actor. You know why is he here?" He, he was like, "Not happy." <laughs> my grandparents had dinner with Nixon once. Oh wow. That was no good. 
Did he steal the silverware? Before he was president, before anything. And my grandmother went home that night and told my grandfather, what a fucking schmuck. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yep, fits the bill. You know. Although, honestly, oh, that's a whole theory for the whole separate show. You'll just have to tune in next week. JFK, Nixon, huh. LBJ. Guys, well, let's wrap us up here, guys. Happen. Yeah. That's why I said we'll save it for another show, another yep. time. Oh my god, we got three offs at the same time. That was insanity. Uh, Miss Alice, do you want to wrap us up? Hey, wrap it up. Are you there? Listen, would you wrap get up the show? Up. I'm going to see if I can get Get the fuck on with it. All right. All right, okay. Well, well, well thank you. we're only on a half hour. <laughs> well, thank you all and everybody. For joining the Kicking the Peanut show today. It was very interesting and fun. We talked about a whole bunch of fun stuff and everything Woo-hoo. was interesting. Woo! Yeah. Anywho, I am Who is Alice and I am accompanied by many folks and I will let them say their names. I am now. Alexander. I am Creek oh. Alley and I'm brought to you by Lucky Strike. <laughs> Woo! And milk brought to you by cows. Move. And I am so here. <laughs> Joe Biden approved. Oh God. Oh, let's go. Two card card is not good. He's so confused. He doesn't know what he signed up Dude. for. This is probably. I have no the... idea what I signed up for. Huh? I am. Joe Biden looks like dirty old paper. There, I said it. Too <laughs> pressure. And, I, and, and if you don't fall for me, you ain't black. Oh, God, come on. Hey, hey, just, oh, oh, no, oh, we're not hey, doing hey. that. No. And there goes the All show. Right. I'm ending. ending the stream, you no, crazy well. people. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, bud. Welcome to Jackass. Hey, until you right catch in. us next week, or if you're interested in some history, we have a history <laughs> show every day at 10 in the morning Pacific time. Uh, usually we do this show at, uh, it used to be 2, but now it's 3 p.m. Pacific time, which is... Uh, 4 p.m. Mountain. Uh, and so, 6 p.m. Eastern. Yep, 5 p.m. Central, but uh, Sohan is muted for some reason. So anyway, all right, see ya.